Hi and welcome to another episode of Peacemake TV. In today's video tutorial for WordPress, we're going to be taking a look at one of the most asked for features in Elementor, the visual editor plugin for WordPress. And that's the ability to be able to create full width layouts. Now this uses a little bit of a hack or a third party plugin that we need to download and install. But I'm going to take you through step by step how quick and easy it is to be able to install this and then start creating pages using the layout structure that you want to create. So let's take a look at doing all that right now. So for this demonstration, we're going to be using the very popular and free version of the Sydney WordPress theme. Now, this is a great theme to work with. It has a lot of great options. And what I've done for this demonstration is I've turned off the option for the full width header. So we've just got a simple blank template. And if we take a look at the demonstration page before we do anything to it, you can see this is exactly what we're working with. We've got the section at the top, which has the menu and the logo in it. And we have the footer at the bottom then the main area where we can actually put our content. And that's what we're going to start working with inside Elementor. So let's switch back over to the admin. Let's go through to our pages section and let's go and load that in and take a look at the settings we've got in there. So let's go into home page. And as you can see at the moment, I don't have Elementor actually switched on. And if we look at the page attributes on the right hand side, you can see I've got it set to be the template of full width. Now we don't use the default template because that's not the template we want to work with in this example. We want the full width so we can in theory, have full width elements on there. But I'm going to show you the limitation of this theme and a lot of other themes when you're working with Elementor is that full width doesn't actually work properly. So let's invoke Elementor and let's put some initial content in there and we'll set it up as if we're trying to get it to work full width, which is what a lot of people have been going through. So the first thing I want to do is put an image at the top. So I'm going to leave this first block ready and I'm going to just scroll down and I'm going to find the image option. So we'll just choose that, drop that in there. Now, obviously, we could use a carousel if we wanted to, or any of the other sort of image-based options. But for this one, we're going to keep it to the normal static image. And what I'm going to do is come up to this, and I'm going to choose the image that I want to work with. We'll insert that. Now, we'll set the section. And you can see we've got that set to be full width. You've got boxed and full width being the options in there. So we've got that set to be full width. So by theory, that should be showing us as a full width image with a full width template. But as you can see, it's not working. So let's come down, add a new section. So we've got some additional content. We'll put a text block in there and we'll literally just come in and drop some text in. So we'll bring down the text editor, drop that in there and we'll just put some text in. That'll do. I'm going to worry about anything else. So we'll leave that as it is and we'll hit save and then we'll take a look at what this looks like on the page. Now, bear in mind, we've got the full width set up on this, the full width template and the full width set for this particular image block. So we refresh that. You can see what we end up with is a block that shows us the same width as the text content, which isn't what we want. So you may find the theme that you're working with will allow you to work in full width, but most of the themes that are available that I've tested don't actually show it in full width the way you'd expect. So what we're going to do is we're going to come back in. We'll just come back out to this. We'll just close that down and go back to the dashboard. And what we're going to do is we're going to come down to plugins and we're going to say add a new plugin. From the search option, we'll be going to add a new plugin. We're just going to come in here and we're going to type in Elementor. That'll go through and filter out all the information. And as you can see, we've got the page builder, which is currently installed. We also have a free plugin from WP Dev HQ, which is Elementor Page Templater. And what that does is it installs two additional templates, one for the header area or the top section and one for the footer area, where we can then start working with genuine full width. Now, this should work with a large majority of themes, but it can't guarantee it to work with everyone. So I recommend testing it out before you invest a lot of time and effort into creating a site to find out that it doesn't do what you want it to do. So let's install that. That'll go through install it. We'll activate it once it's finished installing, and then we'll see what that actually does for us. So let's just activate it. And if we go back then to the plugins, you can see it's activated. Now, there are no settings or anything flat, fancy on here. And if we go through to that page again, and we'll just say all pages, open up our home page, and then start working with Elemental, you'll see that there's nothing different about it. And if we save the page just to make sure nothing has changed on there, so we'll just come back in, refresh the page. As you can see, nothing's actually happened. We still have the same issue. What we need to do is come back out of this and go back to the page editor. And we need to set up one extra thing. If we take a look on the right hand side under templates now under the page attribute section, we now have two additional templates to work with. We've got Elementor full width blank and Elementor full width standard. 
Now, the blank will strip off the footer and the header area, so you effectively end up with a completely blank page. So you can build up a page like a landing page, for example, that doesn't require all the navigation in the footer area. You can use this to do that. Or you can use the Elementor Full Width Standard to give you the basic header and footer areas that we just looked at. So let's just update the page. And if we go back now to the demonstration and refresh that, you can see we now have a genuine full width image at the top. The header area is still there. As we come down, there's our text and our footer is still in place. So if we want to, we can easily come back in, edit with Elementor, open that back up, and we can make some additional edits. As you can see, we're now seeing it displayed the way we expect it to with a genuine full width. So if we want to make any changes to the, the text underneath, we can simply come down to that, come down to the section, for example, and we can come through to style, got a typography, we can adjust things on there, we can go to advanced if we want to. We've got a whole range of different things we can do. So if we want, we can change the typography on there, and we can just adjust things like line height to give some more space in on there. If we want, we can easily come in and adjust things along the lines of sorry, the column on there. And we can put margins at the top and bottom if we want to. So we can say we want to put a margin of, say, for example, 30 pixels at the top. All around it. I'm not going to worry too much about it. But you can see we can now easily come in and carry on work the way we expect it to. If we set this section to be full width, then it will be genuine full width this time. So if we wanted to, we could easily do that. So we can set any element on here to be full width and know that it's actually going to work the way we expect it to work. So let's just save that, go back over and just refresh the page and we'll see the changes we've just made all take effect. So you've now got the benefit of genuine full width layouts for your page with the added bonus that if you wanted to create landing pages where you don't want the header and footer area to be included, you can do that as well. So this is a great little add-on to Elementor, which is already a fantastic plugin. I'd highly recommend downloading it, installing it and testing it out for yourself. Download the extra third-party plugin as well to make sure that you can get full width layouts and get stuck in to create in your professional looking websites. Well, I hope you found this video useful. I hope it's given you an answer into how you can do this. If you did enjoy it, please hit that subscribe button below to be kept up to date with all of the new content we add every single week. And if you've got any comments, questions, or feedback on this video or anything else covered on the channel, please pop those in the comment section below. Until next time, take care.